midday today. Tele forty Jesus, tele forty Jesus, hello. Anything to calm the nerves, even breaking into a solo. It's the first day of school for five-year-old Leroy Ndovu and a chance to impress his new friends. The tears were plentiful. For these great hours, it was all too much. It was a great leap for mom and dad as well. My baby boy is going to start to school today. It's a great day to me. I'm really very excited and I'm very proud of this type of school. I'm very excited, but at the same time, I'm nervous for my baby. And still scores of late registrations. District officers were inundated with parents desperate to find space for the children. The basic education minister is urging better preparation. The province will have to deal with it because it is a competency to deal with uh, accommodation. So we will have to get reports from them to say how they deal with that overcrowding, which they were supposed to have anticipated from last year. A lack of textbooks delayed lessons here. Three schools in Limpopo got a 0% matric pass rate last year. Officials say principals will have to account. In the northwest province, over 200 children failed to report for school. They were left stranded after the transport program was halted. In the free state, textbooks, as per the curriculum assessment policy, have not reached everyone. Not the brightest start to the 2012 school year. Chalk it up to, among others, registration hiccups and the late delivery of textbooks. For many, today marks the first step of their 12-year educational journey. Meanwhile, a week into the new school year, teachers affiliated to Satu in the Eastern Cape staged a walkout. They are refusing to teach unless the contracts of 4,000 temporary teachers are reinstated. We are embarking on various forms of action, protest action, marches and pickets just to demonstrate that the situation in education has, is nowhere nearer to be resolved. With a poor showing in the matric exams, student organization COSA says the action doesn't inspire any confidence. It's an ultimate disaster. And teachers that don't understand that particular fact, really it tells us a lot about their own uh, commitment. The education department says it will take action against the teachers. Nozin Dombi Mia, SABC News.